Duly noted, 6-23-2016. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here in my office at Catalyst Sport in New York City. And I wanted to tell you a, a common entrapment site for the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve is the nerve that supplies the intrinsic hand control for the majority of the hand and also supplies cutaneous distribution to the fourth and fifth digit. Let me show you that. As we zoom in here, you can see the ulnar nerve supplies the green area of the front and back of the hand. So it covers half of the fourth and the fifth digit for cutaneous innervation. So basically, if you're feeling numbness and tingling in this distribution, it's from compression of the ulnar nerve. The way you can remember it is that if you form a U with your fingers, that's the ulnar nerve. And if you form an M with your fingers, that's the median nerve. So median nerve entrapment happens in other places besides the ulnar nerve. So for people that have hand numbness, not all hand numbness is carpal tunnel. Sometimes if it's just the fourth or fifth digit, it's not carpal tunnel at all. It could be at a site called the medial intramuscular septum of the brachium. The brachium is the arm, so the area between the shoulder and the elbow. So this yellow that you see here is the ulnar nerve, and the white that you see here is the medial intramuscular septum of the brachium. And the muscle you see just lateral to it is called the brachialis. He's the most powerful of the elbow flexors. And the muscle just medial to this ulnar nerve is the medial head of the triceps, which is, of course, an elbow extensor. These two muscles share this thickened area of fascia, and it even kind of serves as a tendinous intersection between these two muscles to help them balance their forces between flexion and extension. Now, Grant is making this look like the ulnar nerve is very free from the intramuscular septum, but it's not. In fact, in dissection, you'll see that the brachial fascia that covers these muscles actually binds to the intramuscular septum, thus binding the ulnar nerve and its superior collateral artery uh, down um, deep to the septum. So, uh, if the ulnar nerve is entrapped here, you might get symptoms into your fourth and fifth digit. So, in order to palpate that for yourself, you can actually feel for the medial intramuscular septum. Be careful in your palpation on yourself and on your clients and patients because you could get numbness into the fourth and fifth digit. If they already have numbness and you press there and it gets worse, you definitely know that's probably your entrapment site. To palpate for this, you find your biceps brachii. The biceps brachii is not gonna be an entrapment site for this, so we're just gonna push it out of the way. And the muscle that's just underneath the biceps is brachialis muscle. He's an elbow flexor, so you can feel him move as you flex the elbow and feel him stretch as you extend the elbow. If we come just medial to that and a little posterior, now you're on the medial head of the triceps. The medial head of the triceps is an elbow extensor, and it'll go on stretch when you go into this flexed position. As we go right between them, you're gonna feel right at the middle of the humerus, you're gonna feel for a broad, flat area that could be very, very tight and tender on someone with ulnar neuropathy. If you press in just a little bit, you'll feel an ache into the fourth and fifth digit. That's a sign that you should back off a little bit. If their numbness and tingling gets worse, it's pretty diagnostic that they have entrapment here uh, at the ulnar nerve, at the medial intramuscular septum of the brachium. So the way that you can try to loosen this is not to compress inwards, but to actually press down and just a little tiny bit in, pulling tension down towards the elbow. As you start to go into elbow flexion, that's gonna stretch the tricipital part, and then you can go upwards towards the armpit to open into extension to stretch the brachial part, for, I'm sorry, the brachialis part. So again, towards the elbow and flexion, and towards the armpit and extension. And that medial intramuscular septum is pretty long, so it starts somewhere about the mid humerus and comes down a few inches. So you may have a work zone right around here. By releasing the intramuscular septum, you can help somebody with ulnar neuropathy. And it's not just people with numbness and tingling of the fourth and fifth digit. In fact, that usually comes later. Most of the time, proprioception is lost first, or even vibration sense. And since people don't test vibration very much, proprioception they do with motor control. And one of the ways you can check for motor control is by testing to see if your ulnar side of your grip is weaker. Uh, the ulnar side of the grip tends to be weaker in many people, but it's particularly weak in people with ulnar nerve entrapment. If this side is not your site of weakness for the grip, you can look at the other side, some of which are mentioned in the duly noted videos. But if this is your site, if this is your culprit, it should give you some relief uh, from the unnemis and tingling, as well as improved grip strength, particularly on the fourth and fifth digit side. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I hope this was helpful. See you next time.